Hello, it is Mason once again. Today, I don't even know how I came up with this idea. I saw this picture of Bunny, Jenna Marble's dog, and I was like, I need to paint that and I need to paint it now. This video is basically the process of me painting Bunny as a classy little lady. The original thought for this video was Jenna Marble's dog in a turtleneck and I knew I wanted to do Bunny. Well, previously I had seen Kermit and Peach in turtlenecks and I was like, I really like the look of a greyhound <laughs> in a turtleneck. I mean, they look pretty good, they look pretty snazzy. Especially with this derpy face, I'm all for it. Then, after that thought had come and settled in, when I was sketching the idea of why don't I give her some earrings and maybe a little necklace to add a little class, you know? So it happened, I did that, and I made this. Basically, this is like my outline for the painting. So the process for this, I took this picture and I sketched it out on my iPad first. Then I went in with colors and uh, the gradient for the background that I wanted to do so I could mock it up. I find sketching much easier on my iPad than doing it on the actual canvas because it's sketching on canvases is a, a, just a huge pet peeve for me. I totally recommend sketching it on your iPad or just sketching it in a sketchbook, printing it out, or taking that piece of paper that you sketched it on, covering the back in pencil, and then tracing the picture on top of the canvas. That way the drawing translates through the paper and gets onto the canvas through the graphite. Totally recommend that way, but hey, it's whatever you wanna do. Sorry for the artist talk. I'm just like trying to explain myself. I also did have a thought that the ear piercings of a dog would, I don't know how to explain this. I thought it would be somewhat offensive if I did that. And I still like the look, so we're just gonna call all these clip-on earrings. I know it's just a painting, it's just for the look. People clipping ears or clipping any type of body part on an animal, not a fan of that. So I just want you to know that these earrings are not meant for that purpose in this painting. It's for the aesthetic look within the painting, not on an actual dog. Does that make sense? I'm not for that. Okay, now that that's out of the way. So sketch is on the canvas. Now I'm gonna go in and start painting with acrylic paints and I'm going in on this white box canvas, just painting away. painting you always start with the background personally I used to be like a rebel and not do that and I learned the hard way paint on the background first and then do your subject in the middle it's currently upside down so I can get a better angle here's 20 minutes into doing bunnies painting ew is that dusty gross get out of here it officially broke out the <laughs> the masking fluid it literally smells like sulfur I have the spotlight light Thing traced out already. There's the masking fluid. You stink. So I'm gonna go through with the masking fluid and put it around the edges of Bunny and what masking fluid does. Does what it does is it makes a natural barrier so that way whenever I go to paint more, paint won't actually get on Bunny. If that makes sense. Masking fluid applied. And I realized that this is very comparable to liquid latex. So once you put it down, it dries and creates a barrier so that way you can paint over it and stuff. But it's usually used for watercolors. So I recommend if you're doing it for acrylics like I am, do a double layer. That way it'll make it thicker. Thicker than a snicker? Okay, I need to stop. Anyway, so I'm gonna start painting the background as soon as the masking fluid dries.
purple turtleneck because the earrings and the necklace would be gold or yellow and purple and gold are complementary colors, I believe. I believe they are. I'm trying to think. Blue and orange are complementary colors. Purple, purple, purple and like a gold. I think that's right, purple and gold. That took me so long to think about. <laughs> and then I did a dark faded spotlight background with a blend. That was very complicated for me to say, but it makes sense. <laughs> then Bunny herself was actually not that hard to sketch out. Um, her face shape in this picture is very elongated. It's very stick-ish. <laughs> and her head was just basically like an octagon. Here you can see me doing a base coat of a taupe brown color for Bunny's skin. Then over that I go with a white so it's more like her actual fur color. Now you see me going in and adding details such as uh, little hairs with a Posca white paint pen. The paint I use is kind of transparent so I use a Posca pen which is more opaque. I did highlights and as I mentioned just now the hairs and then some little details on her turtleneck. Then I added the earrings in white so I could go over and paint them yellow. I did it white first so that way the yellow would pop more instead of just being on the gray background. So I'm using a Gamvar varnish that is gloss, not matte, and basically this just seals in the paint and gives it a nice finish. So with all of that, here's the final product. enjoyed this video I'm trying to upload as much as I can it was gonna be twice a week I, I need to get my schedule going first and figure out what's going on with college before I start doing two videos a week so I hope you can understand and I really hope you enjoyed me painting bunny as a little classy lady share this video give a like and subscribe I'm really trying to get to a K 1000 before when when would a good goal be I'm trying to hit 1k before the end of september if we get 1k before the end of september i will release a song <laughs> along with a music video i plan on doing it anyway but like just to give you a little incentive that i'm you know <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in this week and i will see you later with a brand new video bye